Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is backing out and did it again one more time. In this video, we're going to talk about the Git strategy for Shopify theme development. Now, this can work for you by yourself and this could work for you in working with a team. Okay. So I wanted to point these things out because the new version of Shopify allows us to work with Git and GitHub um directly into our themes so there needs to be a strategy either you working for yourself as a shopify theme developer or you working with a team you know and collaborating with other people okay so let's go in and show you guys this what i'm talking about so if you guys see here at the bottom it says theme library you can now add themes directly from github all you have to do is connect your GitHub account to your Shopify store. Okay. And then from there you can find the repository and then from there you can find the branch. All right. Now you can also come here and take a look right here that we have this already added. And we basically added this, this theme that is on GitHub called Shopify two course. It's just basically the, the same Dawn theme. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys this strategy that I have here. So everything could run smooth for you guys. All right. So what I would do is set things up this way. Okay. There's going to be a main branch and this main branch could be the main website, right? Or the main theme that's being run on the development store or on the live website. Uh, if in case you're working on a company's, uh, live theme, right? And then from there, you want to have a staging, which is another branch. And then from there, you want to have branches for each developer. So they could work independently. All right. So this is what we're going to set up right now. Uh, I have something called source tree. This is what I recommend people to use when it comes to Git. You can use the command line if you want to. Me personally, I enjoy uh, source tree a lot more uh, to set these things up. So this is actually free just in case you're wondering, damn, do I have to pay for this? No, source tree is free, guys. You could literally get this. This is from the same guys that uh, created Jira. A lot of companies use this software. It's one of the most uh, useful programs that's out there for developers. I definitely recommend it. Okay, so go get it. It's downloading, you know, 100% for free. Okay, so again, coming back here to Source Street, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add a repo. Okay, so we have this right here. I'm going to add an existing repository uh, I already set up the repo uh, manually uh, using the command line right so I do the get in it you know add it to github right etc we go through that whole process uh, again this is all part of the course on codingphase.com Shopify theme development 2.0 if you guys want to learn more definitely check it out uh, but yeah so let's go in and find our repo right or our theme I'm calling this theme venti so i click in here select folder okay i click add and then now i can see the main branch now as you guys can see i already did a commit and this was when i was setting up the repo with github and now from here what i want to do is create a branch and this branch is going to be a copy of the main branch which has all the files so in here i'm going to call this one staging okay and pretty much create the branch there we go and then from staging i'm going to create another branch which is going to be for me okay so let's say for example if i'm working on uh you know on a team i'm working with multiple developers i could go and create my own branch so i'm just going to call it joe to keep it simple and this is a working copy of the staging branch i'm also going to create another branch for another guy called Dave, right? So let's come in here. Let's say I'm working with another developer. Uh, Dave makes a copy of the staging branch. So in here, he could go in, say, okay, Dave, he created a branch. All right. Now let's go in here and actually do some changes. If Dave is working on the image with text and he says this right here is a title, right? And he saves this and right? he comes here he says okay click on clear he says get add dot right so add the changes get commit dash am add it uh, change to 
image with text section right now what he wants to do is he wants to go and take those changes and add it to the staging now again if you guys look at this chart that I have right here for you guys as the developer does a change here right he pushes his changes to the staging now others developers when they do changes they also push it to the staging and they basically merge it in there all right now if there's an issue it's never going to affect the main theme which is on the main branch or the live website so you always want to go in and push this to the staging and figure out whatever problems is happening in there now let's continue with this let's say uh, Dave comes in and he says okay I'm done now we're switching up to the staging okay now we are basically merging Dave's current changes into the current branch right so whatever changes Dave already have we're merging it to the staging so this is what Dave is doing he comes in merges it to staging now here comes Joe Joe comes in and says okay cool I'm gonna go in I'm going to uh, do some changes and I'm gonna say okay cool uh, inside of this section here right I want to come let me see let's see da -da -da, we got all of this let's just put in right here at the bottom something like this like uh, I don't know uh, h5 coming soon right this is what Joe is doing so he saves that once he saves that then he basically comes in and he says okay cool uh, I see that there's some changes that Dave did on the staging let me go in let me commit my changes clicks here stage all okay add it coming soon message to image with text section commits the change and then now he can come in and basically grab from the staging right and you should always do this try to merge the staging into you right you see changes that you don't have on your local uh, branch go in and bring those changes to you so like that you could fix it on your branch so if there's a merge conflict or some type of problem you're not bringing that into the staging and you're not bringing that into uh, the actual main branch okay so then now we come in and we say okay Joe is merging staging into uh, his current branch clicking here okay no conflicts everything worked perfectly okay and then now Joe comes in and says okay I'm gonna switch to staging and I'm gonna merge the Joe uh, the Joe branch into the staging branch now that we know everything is working here you know uh, you can also add that branch to be a separate theme within your your theme store okay so like that you could have a way for uh, you know adding it or previewing it you know giving the link to somebody else so let's say for example I could come here and do something like this and say uh, connect from github okay this is the Shopify branch okay uh, now currently right now I only have the main branch on on github so let me go and push this and I'm gonna say push the main branch matter of fact uh, push the main branch into main and let's push staging into staging on a remote uh, branch okay and so basically we're creating a new branch inside of uh, github for this repo all right so let me refresh this one more time just to show you guys the new changes click connect from github okay come here search shopify find my repo shopify 2 course okay and then now i could click on staging now again this is going to treat this as two different themes okay there's gonna be one theme which is the main branch right it's the same theme but it's just different branches so it's actually treating them as different themes which is actually good uh, because then now 
we can work independently from the main theme. So again, I'm showing you guys this because there are going to be situations where, yeah, you could work on a theme by yourself at home and say, Hey, I'm working independently. You might not have to go through this workflow, but if you're working at a company and they hired you as a Shopify developer, you want to go in and set this up. Okay. Maybe there might be a senior developer who sets this up for you and you know, the whole workflow is already done for you. Uh, but you might be the guy that has to, to do this yourself. Okay. So basically you want to have your staging one, which is this one. And then you want to have your main one, which is this one. Okay. So again, whenever you're doing any changes, right? Work on your branch, right? So for example, I'm Joe or I'm Dave, I'm working on my branch. If I do some changes, I come in and I say, Hey, I'm going to push into the staging branch, right? If there's no changes, if there are changes, what I want to do is I want to bring the changes from the staging branch into my branch. I handle any conflicts, any problems that might be happening in there within my branch. So like that is not really affecting other developers on the staging branch. And then now once I do that, I merge my branch into the staging branch. Now, once all of this happens, right? We say, okay, cool. We have uh, the staging branch there. Okay. We could push into the staging uh, remote. Again, this is getting treated as a separate theme. Okay. And once we're done with that and we say, okay, all the changes are great. Everything works perfectly. Then now what we want to do is we want to say, okay, cool. Let's bring in the changes from the main branch into our staging branch. Anything that has happened inside of the main branch, bring it into the staging branch and then now switch back into the main branch. Okay. And bring the staging changes, right? And merge it into the main branch like that. You're going to have the minimum amount of problems of collaborating with people. Okay. It's always of a situation where you're checking. Okay. I got changes. Find out if there's changes over there. If there's changes over there, bring it to mines from mines, go and push it into or merge it into the, the staging from the staging, do the same thing, bring changes from the main into the staging. Okay. Everything went through smooth. Okay. Now merge the staging into the main. And then like that, you're always going to be uh, good to work with a team. Okay. Now, uh, we are in the main. So then now I'm going to come in and I'm going to push this. Okay. So I'm pushing this changes and there we go. Okay. So now all of the, the changes that I wanted to have are now on the live website. All right, guys. So hopefully this is something that was useful for you guys, uh, to work on a team and also too is great way for you guys to do changes on a live site without having to actually affect the main website itself you know, especially if they're selling products already. So for example, by you having this main branch here, this is the main website. This is what everybody goes to. So for example, cpcourse.myshopify.com, that's the, the site itself. But if I wanted to go in and work on, on the website and I still want to see the products, I still want to see all of the things that, that comes with this store. Um, and I don't want to have to affect the live site. Now I could just come here on the staging site and I could just click on preview, right? Now, of course, just to mention this, you can also do a lot of the things that I just showed you guys through the Shopify CLI, but I know a lot of you guys that have been using Git either for Netlify or for Versal or any of these other platforms. You are so used to using just Git and GitHub to, you know, update your websites that I think this strategy here is something that most people are going to choose to go with instead of doing it everything directly through the Shopify CLI. Okay. Um, but yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy this. By the way, if you are watching this on YouTube, guys, come check out the Shopify theme development course. Okay. Uh, this is a career bundle that we have in here. All of the courses that you need to learn. Uh, to basically become a Shopify theme developer. A lot of people are getting hired right now as developers, uh, especially on Shopify. And at the same time, you can go and create your own themes and sell them online, make your own money. Okay. This is the, the beauty of it. Okay. You could either get a job 
or you could even use the skills that you have and make side income while you're working full time or go full time making themes. So it's up to you what you want to go for. And again, this is part of the Shopify online store 2.0. Okay, guys. So anyways, man, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Peace. Take care.